morning and welcome to music. Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. If I sing to you, you have to stand up, put your hands on your elbows, sing back and that's it. Good morning everyone. Good morning if you're wearing green. Good morning if you're wearing orange. Good morning if you like onions. Good morning if you like baked beans. Good morning if you're feeling happy. Good morning if you're feeling tired. Good morning everyone. We're going to do our one, two, three, four, five song. So ready with your hand. Here we go. I'll use that hand. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three. Start with four. Four, five, one, two, three. 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 Four, five, one. Start with two. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Start with five. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Start with three. Three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well done. And now for our Biddle Boddle song. This week we're singing L, M, N, and P. So it's the next four consonants, not vowels, in the alphabet. So we'll do L, so little loddle. We'll do M, middle model. We'll do N, niddle noddle. And we'll do P, piddle boddle. <laughs> Little loddle, little loddle, lip lop loom. 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 Middle model, middle model, mip mop mum. Middle model, middle model, mip mop mum. Middle model, middle model, mip. And now on to our numbers. At the moment we're just singing the even numbers on the left and the odd numbers on the right and we'll do that twice through. Here's the introduction. going to see on the screen when the numbers have a little dash beside them a wee line beside them you're going to clap once so this is the five times table clapping each of the ones that has a wee dash beside it here's the introduction 20 
twenty, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, ten, eight, six, four, two, none, nineteen, seventeen, fifteen, thirteen, eleven, nine, seven, five, three, and one. Well done. This time we're not clapping. This time, if you see a wee star beside a number, you're going to tap your knees once. This is a three times table. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. Good. This time, if you see a box around a number, you're going to stamp once, okay? So that's only on 15 and none. Stamping once. Here's the introduction. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. Well done. And now for the tricky bit. If you see a wee line, you clap. If you see a star, you tap your knees. If you see a box, a rectangle, you stamp only. Don't try and do lots of things at once. Here we go, we'll go a wee bit slower and here's the introduction. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. Well done. And now on to the grand old Duke of York. We'll sing it once through to begin with. Here's the introduction. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. When they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done. This time, when you sing the word up, you're going to clap once. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. When they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good. This time you're not clapping. This time you're going to tap your knees when we get to the word down. Okay? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. When they were up, they were up, and when they were down, they were down, and when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. And now to the tricky bit, you're clapping on up, you're tapping your knees on down. Here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men, he marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. When they were up, they were up, and when they were down, they were down, and when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. And this is the last time, same thing, clapping for up, tapping your knees on down, but this time you're singing in your head, so don't sing out loud. Here we go. to our pick up a book song. So make sure you're sitting up straight. You don't have arms crossed or anything like that. Remember, if you cross your arms when you're singing, your voice gets stuck in your elbows and doesn't come out your mouth. So nice and straight. If you're standing, stand with your feet about that much apart and your hands at your side. Don't put them in front or behind. Hands at your side, shoulders back, heads up, big smiles on. Here's the introduction. Pick up a book, take a look at the cover and the blurb If you like it, dive inside it, lose yourself in every word Turn the telly off and find a cosy little nook Where 
can sit for a bit and read a book. Well, there's Bilbo, Captain Hook, and Harry P. There's Matilda, Mr. Toad, and Tracy B. Peter Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, the hungry caterpillar too, and the tiger who is coming round for tea. Yes, each one has a story they'd love to share with you. And if that tickles your fancy, then you know just what to do. Pick up a book, take a look at the cover and the blurb. If you like it, dive inside it, lose yourself in every word. Turn the telly off and find a cosy little nook We can sit for a bit and read a book. How about a holiday to Neverland? Well, a trip to Treasure Island would be grand. Seeing Willy Wonka's place or Narnia, that would be ace. Maybe down the rabbit hole to Wonderland. They're only round the corner, not far to travel to. And if that tickles your fancy, then you know just what to do. Like it, dive inside it, lose yourself in every word. Turn the telly off and find a cosy little nook where you can sit for a bit and read a book. And now we're going to do our clap stamp. A grid is going to come up on the screen and we're going to follow it from the top left to the bottom right. This week we're just having the same grid put up on the screen all the time. So you're starting at the top left and we'll do row one. Then you go to the second row, you go along there, go to the third row, along there, and then the bottom row along to the right. Always working from left to right and we're going to do the grid four times. So once you've done stamp stamp on the last beat on the bottom right, you straight away go back to the beginning. Here's the introduction. Wait for the introduction and then we start Clap, 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 stamp. Here we go. Clap, 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 stamp. Clap, stamp, clap, clap, stamp. Clap, 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 stamp. Stamp, clap, stamp, stamp, stamp. Clap, 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 stamp. Clap, stamp, clap, clap, stamp. Clap, 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 stamp, stamp. Clap, stamp, clap, clap, stamp. Clap, 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 stamp, stamp, clap, stamp, 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 clap, 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 stamp, clap, stamp, clap, clap, stamp, clap, 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 stamp, stamp, clap, stamp, stamp, stamp. And now I'm going to hand over to my friend Mary Ann Turner, who's going to tell us all about the instrument of the week. Hi, my name is Mary Ann and I play the harp. I play two different kinds of harp and they're very similar in lots of ways. The classical harp that you've maybe seen in an orchestra is much bigger than the one I have here and it's more complicated in, in that it's got lots of machinery inside but I have ways and means of doing the same thing. So here's the basics first. A harp is basically a piece of wood or two pieces together here and a box at the bottom here with strings going between the two. The wood here is just to hold on to the strings and keep it tight and the box down here is to make the sound bigger, to make it amplified. If you were just to play a string on its own, you wouldn't get any kind of sound at all. It's like playing a rubber band. But as soon as you attach it to a box, and this is just like the body of a cello or the body of a guitar, the sound goes from to 
the sounds made bigger, it's amplified, and that's what means that we can play it out to people. For this kind of harp, which is called a clarsach, it's just a small Celtic harp, and the clarsach is the Gaelic word for a harp. This one and the concert harp, the orchestral harp that you've maybe seen also, has seven strings in an octave and it's like looking at the white notes of a piano. So if you play just one string after another, you get your major scale. And you can see that there are different coloured strings. It's like painting by numbers, it's really quite easy. The red ones are C and the black ones are F. And if you're really smart, you'll have worked out that that then is the same pattern of notes grouped together as the black notes give you sitting in on the piano because you have two black notes just sitting above the C and three black notes just sitting above the F. So you have the same visual pattern when you're working out tunes on the harp as you do when you're looking at the piano keyboard. And in fact, if you go and look inside a big grand piano, it's like looking at a harp. So if you looked at a naked piano, it would really just be a harp. So we sit it on the end and the longest strings here are the lowest notes. And the shortest ones are the highest. So what I'm going to do just now is play a tune. And this is a tune that I wrote for a good friend of mine called Kirsten Bennett. And she is a music teacher as well, which makes her a superhero. Thank you, Marianne. And now we're going to watch a short clip of Emmanuel Cesson, a world famous harpist from France. He's given us permission to use this video. He's playing a piece of music called the Colorado Trail Fantasy for Harp. Why don't you pretend you've got a harp and you're playing it with him?
on to some clapping. On the screen, you'll see in the top half, we have the rhythms to clap. In the bottom half is me clapping along. So today we're either clapping a ta, a te te, or a rest. We're clapping each of the rhythms twice. One, two, three, four. we're going to use the words bread, butter and jam. So instead of bim we're singing bread, instead of bum we're singing jam and instead of biddy we're singing butter. So we're starting bread jam, ready steady and we'll go a wee bit faster. Ready steady, here we go. Bread jam, bread jam, butter, butter jam, butter jam, butter, butter jam, bread jam. Bread jam, bread jam, butter, butter jam, butter jam, butter, butter jam, bread jam. Bread jam, butter, butter jam, butter jam, butter, butter jam, bread jam. Bread jam, butter, butter jam, butter jam, butter, butter jam, bread jam. Well done. Let's try it really, really fast. But this time we'll just do it with bim bum, okay? This is this is the note we're starting on, and we're going to go ready, steady. Here we go. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Well done. Up in the air, he said, Shake it, baby, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it from the can. Round you do, bump, round you do, bump. Turn around and turn around until you make a stop. I was going to Kentucky, I was going to the fair, I met a senorita. Flowers in her hair, singing, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it from the can. Round to do bop, round to do bop. Turn around and turn around until you make a stop. I was going into Glasgow, I was riding on my bike. I met a tall giraffe who was singing with the mic. She said, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it from the can. Round do bop, round do bop. Turn around and turn around until you make a stop. I was working in my garden, I was following a plan. I plant a seed and water it from my watering can. Shake it, baby, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and drink it from the can. Round to do bop, round to do bop. Turn around and turn around until you make a stop. to power in me. So stand up to sing this, put your feet about that much apart, not too far, hands at your sides, shoulders back, heads up, big smiles on. Here we go.
to our last song, the three cross. Three cross sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. this morning. We'll see you next week. Bye.